we have obtained canonical partition function and we define canonical partition function by Q which is function of n number of particles, volume and beta is e to the minus beta e j, e j is function of number of particles and volume where j is number of states. We have, also, we have also obtained probability of jth state, we define it by p j, which is also a function of n v and beta. is e to the minus beta e j n v by q. Since we have obtained partition function as well as the probability, now we can calculate all the thermodynamic quantities like average energy. And we define average energy by this ok. So, what is the average energy? Average energy E is sum over j p j which is function of n v beta times E j which is a function of n and v. If you remember the probability of any variable x is like sum over j x j times p j. We already discussed this is very similar to this. Now, if we substitute val the value of prob probability p j, we obtain So, this is the expression we obtain for average energy. So, average energy is sum over j e to the minus beta e j times e j by q. Now, if we closely look at the expression for partition function as well as the expression 1 we see that in the denominator we have q ok and in the numerator we have sum over j e to the minus beta e j times e j. So, it says that we need to take log of q first and then we need to differentiate q with respect to beta, then what we get is like very similar to expression 1. Let us see. Okay, so, we have q Now, we take log e base q now we will differentiate ln q 
with respect to beta keeping number of particles and volume constant what you get. So, we are differentiating L and Q with respect to beta. So, in the numerator we have we will have sum over j e to the minus beta e j okay. and in the numerator we have sum over j e to the minus beta e j times minus e j. Now, if we compare expression 1 and expression 2, we obtain, so comparing equations 1 and 2, we get average energy is minus del L n q by del beta. At constant n and v. So, this is the expression for average energy. So, if you know if we know average if we know the partition function, we can easily calculate average energy and this average energy uh, is is uh, nothing but the uh, um, internal energy that we uh, have uh, used in in classical thermodynamics. Now, we will see we will see rather we will prove also that beta is 1 by k v times t where k v and t is the absolute temperature. So, this is the expression for beta okay. and we have obtained that average energy is minus del L n q n v beta by del beta at constant n and v. So, in terms of uh, temperature we can write average energy E is k b t to the 2 so we obtain average energy is del minus del ln q by del beta and if we differentiate with respect to t then we get the expression for average energy as k b t to the 2 del l n q by del t. So, this is this, this, this is the expression for average energy. Okay. Now, we will calculate average pressure. Since we are dealing with canonical partition function, in canonical partition function, number of particles, volume and temperature fixed, so pressure can fluctuate. So, we will calculate average pressure. To, to do this, we will start with, we will start with uh, the expression for average energy. Okay. Just now, we have seen average energy, which is nothing but internal energy. We can write like sum over j, j is number of states, p j times e j. 
So, we can further proceed like this d u Then you can this above expression can be reduced further to So, suppose this is our ex expression number 3. Okay. So, here in expression uh, th 3, we have some word j p j del e j by del v at constant n. Since e is function of e j is function of n and v, we are uh, differentiating with respect to v keeping n constant times d v and some word j e j times d p j. Okay. Now, if we compare so from thermodynamics, okay. so we know d u is del w plus del q and the, if the process is a reversible one, you can write del w reversible and del q reversible. Okay. And we can further proceed and write we know del w is minus p times d v plus del q reversible. So now, if we compare, so suppose this is our equation 4. So, if you compare the coefficients of coefficient of d v of equation 3 and 4, what we obtained is p j is minus del q j by del v at constant a. This is because average pressure we can also write like sum over j probability of jth state times pressure at jth state. Okay. Now, if you compare this uh, expression suppose this is our expression 5. So, if you compare expression 5 and uh, expression 3, okay, so you can write that p j or, or pressure at the j, uh, in the jth state is nothing but minus del e j by del v. Okay. So, we obtain, so we know uh, pressure, average pressure is sum over j where small p denotes probability and the and the, and the, and the capital P represents pressure. Now, we know the expression for probability. Okay. Now, if you substitute the expression for probability here, we get e to the minus beta e j times p j. So, p j is again our minus del e j by del v at constant n by q. Okay. Now, we know q 
is nothing but sum over j e to the minus beta e j. Now, what we will do? We will take log like before log of q is So, what we will do now? We will we'll differentiate ln q with respect to v keeping n and beta constant. Okay. So, if we do that, we get from there, we get del ln q by del v keeping n and beta constant. So, we get 1 by q times sum over j e to the minus beta e j times minus beta del e j by del v at constant n. Okay. So, we get average pressure is nothing but is nothing but minus or if we substitute the value of beta, we get k b t del l n q by del v keeping n and beta constant. Okay, so, this is the expression for average pressure. Okay. Next, we have so far we have assumed that beta is 1 by k v t, we will prove it now. Okay. So, next is Proof of beta is one by k v t. Okay, so we'll start with average pressure. So we know we just discussed about the average pressure. Average pressure is nothing but P j times E j and it is nothing but sum over j e j this function of n and v e to the minus beta e j by by q. So, q is nothing but e to the minus beta e j. So, this is the value of average pressure. Now, what we will do? We will differentiate average pressure with respect to volume keeping n and beta constant. So, if we do that, we get Now, if we, if we see right hand side, we have three functions which are functions of volume like E j, we have the, the so E j n v is our first function, E to the minus beta E j uh, is our second function and sum over j E to the minus beta E j that is present in the denominator, this is our third function. So, if we differentiate this, we will get
So, we are differentiating the first function means E j with respect to V, if we do that we get this expression. Next, we will differentiate with E to the minus beta E j with respect to volume. If we do that, we get E j n v, this is uh, unchanged and then E to the minus beta E j n times v times minus beta times del E j by del v at constant n by sum over j e to the minus beta E j. Now, we differentiate the denominator with respect to volume. If we do that, we get minus Okay, so, this is the expression we obtain. Okay, so, we can further simplify this one. Now, if we, if we look at the first term, what do we get? So, the first term gives you minus of average pressure. So, the first term gives, so what we get is del E by del V at constant n and beta the first term gives us average pressure. Okay. Now, the second term, okay. if we see the second term, okay, so we have one beta term there. So, we have plus beta, we can take beta out and then if we take the minus sign in minus del E j by del V, so we get P j. right? pressure. Okay. So, we get average of pressure times energy, the second term gives. And the third term, now if we look at the third term, the first term uh, gives us the average energy. Now, if we split only when if we split uh, the denominator into two different sum of j e to the minus beta e eta. Okay. So, if we do that basically we get, so the first term gives you minus is there. So, you get, we get uh, the first term gives us the average energy minus E average and the second term uh, gives us pressure. Okay, so, minus E average minus P average. So, what we get is and then we have one beta term also there. So, one beta term is one beta is also there times beta, times beta. So, this is the expression we have got if we differentiate average energy with respect to volume. Okay. So,
so we can write del E average by del V in beta is minus P average plus beta P times E average minus beta E average times P average. Now, for those who uh, did not understand how we arrived at this expression, so we will uh, I will I, I will just show those things there. Okay. So, now we consider you go back and check the expression of this. So, we give we if we see the first expression. Okay. So, first uh, in the uh, in the above expression, suppose this is our equation. Uh, what is the equation? So, this is our equation 6. So, in equation 6, the first term is equation 6, the, f the first term in the right hand side we have sum over j sum over j del e j by del v del e j by del v times e to the minus beta e j by e to the sum over j e to the minus beta e j. Okay, so, this term this this term gives us p j average uh, probability. Okay, so, this term reduces to sum over j del e j by del v at constant at constant n times p j. And this is nothing but average minus of average pressure. Okay, so this is the first term in the right hand side of equation one. Now we consider the second term of equation one. Okay, so in the second in the second the second term in the above expression six the second term. term in the right hand side of side of equation 6, what we have sum over j e j e to the minus beta e j. And then we have times minus beta and then times del E j by del V at constant n and then we have Q okay, or in rather we have sum over j e to the minus beta E j. Now, if we if we see okay, so If we further reduce this one, so you can take first we take beta out, okay, and then what we do here, we write e j e e j, and then we have uh, times minus del e j by del v at constant n. And then we have e to the minus beta e j by sum over j e to the minus beta e j. So, this term, this whole thing, this term 
is again nothing but probability. So, we can write this as sum over j e j and this is nothing but pressure at jth state and then we have probability of jth state. So, the whole thing is nothing but your variable now. So, we can write beta times p e average. So, this is the second term of uh, equation 6 that is present in the right hand side. Now, what about the last term or third term? Okay. The third term in the expression 6 is E j. So, the third term of equation 6 present in the right hand side okay. so we can write minus uh, we can uh, just forget time being so we can write ej e to the minus beta ej so, sum over j, sum over j e j e to the minus beta e j by sum over j e to the minus beta e j to the 2 times sum over j and we have e to the minus beta e j times minus beta. e to the minus beta e j times minus beta times del e j by del v at constant n. So, this is uh, our uh, uh, third term of equation 6 that is present in the right hand side. Okay. Now, we can simplify this one like, so we can write j e j e to the minus beta e j by sum over j beta e j times beta we can take out and then we can write j e to the minus beta e j the minus of times minus of my del e j by del v at constant n by sum over j e to the minus beta e j. Okay, so, the first term here gives e j times p j and the second term gives us pressure p j times p j. So, this gives us beta e average times p average. So, that is how we arrived at equation uh, 7. Okay. So, we, we name this one as equation 7. Okay. Now, what we do? We differentiate, we consider first, now we consider average pressure and we will differentiate a pressure with respect to beta. Okay. So, if we do that, we get, so we start with average pressure. So, we know average pressure is nothing but sum over j p j probability times pressure at jth state. Now, we substitute the value of p j here and we get
so this is the value of average pressure now we will differentiate average pressure with respect to beta keeping n and v constant okay so if we do that so we get So, if you further simplify this expression, we get del P average by del beta at constant n and v nothing but E P average plus P average times E average. Okay, so, the first term gives you, uh, first, term, first term of right hand side gives you E p average and the second term of right hand side gives you uh, p average times E average. So, suppose this is our uh, equation number 8, okay, very good. Now, we will substitute the value of d p by del beta of equation 8 into equation 7, okay. So, if we do this, what we get is so, from equation 7 and 8, so from equations 7 and 8, we get del E by del V at constant n and beta plus beta times del p average by del beta is minus p average. So, this is our equation 9 suppose, suppose this is our equation 9. Okay. So, Again, from thermodynamics, we know from parcel of thermodynamics, we know du is TDS minus PDV, right? That we uh, discussed. Now, what do we do? We differentiate this with respect to V keeping temperature constant, we get del S by del V, du by del, del U by del V at constant temperature is nothing but T times del S by del V at constant temperature minus P. Okay. So, we get del U by del V minus T del S by del V at constant T is minus P. Again, del S by del V at constant temperature is nothing but del P by del T at constant volume. So, 
So, this is one of the Maxwell's relation. So, our equation 10 reduces to so, so equation 10 now becomes so equation 10 becomes del u by del v del u by del v at constant temperature minus t minus t del p by del t at constant volume is minus of pressure. So, this is our equation 11, suppose this is our equation 11. Now, if we compare equation 11 and equation 9, so comparing equations 9 and equation and equations 11, we get beta is proportional to 1 by t. And it has been found that the proportionality constant is nothing but Boltzmann constant. Okay, the constant, the proportionality constant, constant turns out to be 1 by k v okay. by comparison with expressions for the average energy or average pressure with known thermodynamic equations. Okay. So, we get so beta is 1 by Boltzmann constant times temperature. So, we have proved that. So, next we consider okay, how, what is the value of entropy. Okay. So, we calculate now we consider calculation of entropy. calculation of entropy. Okay. Suppose, we are considering a function where f is nothing but log of <coughs> partition function. Okay. So, f function of e 1, e 2, etcetera is ln and what is the value of q that we know q is nothing but sum over j e to the minus beta e j. Okay. So, we can write d f is del f by del beta keeping n or keeping e 1 e 2 etcetera constant okay. because e 1 e 2 those terms they contain uh, n and p okay so we can write e1 e2 etc constants here so we are differentiating f with respect to beta keeping e1 e2 etc constant time d beta plus okay, plus 
sum over k you can write del f by del e k right. So, here del f by k is again a dummy variable ok. So, del f by del e k beta e 1 e 2 etcetera. So, we are keeping beta e 1 e 2 etcetera constant except the term e k here ok. So, so, this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2 and what is the first term? First term is our minus of E average ok and what is the second term? Second term is so this is nothing but minus E average and we have the d beta term. So, we have minus E average times d beta and the second term gives us minus beta sum over j p j times d j ok. And then we get so d f beta times E average we can further simplify this one like this. beta times d e average minus sum over j p j d e j. Okay. So, we get d a plus beta e average plus 2 beta d e average minus and this is nothing but d u. So, we discussed so average of energy is nothing but internal energy minus del W. If the process is reversible one we can write like this ok. So, we get d a plus beta E average is nothing but beta del Q reversible or you can write del q reversible by k b times t. Now, we know del q reversible by t gives you d s. So, you can write k beta times d a plus beta e average is nothing but d s. So, if you do the integration we get s is k b times f plus E average by T plus a constant term ok. And what is the value of f? f now if we, if we substitute the value of f we get k b ln q plus E average by T plus constant. So, this is the value of average uh, entropy. Now, we are more interested into difference in entropy rather than absolute entropy ok. So, we can safely ignore the constant term. So, if we ignore the constant term we get S is k b ln q plus e by t ok. This is because, because because we are more interested into into difference in entropy or d s rather than absolute entropy ok. Now, we uh, have obtained so far average energy, average pressure and entropy value. Now, we can calculate uh, basically all uh, 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 thermodynamic quantities like 
we like calculation of enthalpy. So, we know enthalpy H is E u minus P v and we know value of e u. So, e u is nothing but minus del ln q by del t if we differentiate with respect to t, then uh, we do not have the minus sign, we have k v times t to the 2 keeping n and v constant and then the value of pressure we know is minus of k v t. Okay, so, pressure the value of average pressure is uh, we just calculated. Okay, so value of average pressure is KBT. Okay, so d minus del ln Q by del ln V. You can write. Okay, because if we take if we take the uh, V in the denominator, we get this. Okay, this is at constant n and theta. Then we can calculate. Helmut free energy because A is nothing but U minus T S okay, and we substitute all the values here. So, U is nothing but K B times T to the 2 or you can write Q U intact here. Okay, so, u minus t and the value of s is uh, k b t k b l and q and then minus u. So, we get a is minus of k b t l n q. Similarly, we can calculate we can also calculate, we can also calculate Gibbs free energy, G like G is H minus T S and we sub will substitute the value of H at S here by substituting the values of H and S. Okay, so, basically we can calculate all thermodynamic quantities if we know the partisan function. Thank you.